Now that we have everything set up, we just need to go ahead and rename our artboards and export it for production. So artboard one is going to be for screen printing. So we're just going to go ahead and rename this artboard one to the uh, order number 8401 product one underscore. We're going to call this BF for bag front underscore 17 and a half inches wide underscore and this is going to be the customer so we're just going to copy and paste that out of core bridge which is Nikola Motor. Um, so now we need the laser file so for the laser we're just going to copy what the file name is for the working proof put it in there and then just before the size we're going to do L for laser dash five because we need five runs of this to hit our number of 250 and that one's set and now we just need the embroidery one which is going to be artboard three so we're going to do the same thing as uh, screen print so we're just going to copy that paste it in we're going to go ahead and put rip for Nicola we'll call this so pattern that way they know that it is not a typical uh, embroidery file uh, so we're going to go ahead and export screens which is control alt e we're going to make sure that we have all of our artboard selected and we don't need the jpeg so we're good there now we just need to open up the correct folder which is going to be 8401 go ahead and click there and we're going to go ahead and put it into production. Select export artboards. So now that is set. Now what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and print out the proof. So we'll do that. That will go in its corresponding folder. And lastly, we come over to CoreBridge and we are going to switch the job into production. <clears throat> so what's going to happen next is we're going to take the screen print file and we're going to follow our uh, process for separation studio we're going to create the screens for that job once that gets printed on the tackle twill that will then go to the laser and they will get laser cut and there's going to be a step in embroidery where they are going to take um, the sew pattern and they are going to create the sew pattern for the patch uh, so I will have embroidery create a video on that. We'll also have laser create a video on how to read the uh, fiduciary registration marks that we put in. Thanks for watching.